Uh, it's one of the most bizarre yet artistic places in the state. And it's an easy stop between Reno and Las Vegas. Coal 8 News Now's Ben Deach gives us a look at the International Car Forest of the Last Church in tonight's edition of Silver State Sites. Well, when you think of that drive from Reno to Vegas, you probably don't think about art. But thanks to two men and a lot of old cars, there's plenty of it to see. Normally, it's just sagebrush and Joshua trees coming out of the ground in central Nevada. But in the small town of Goldfield, you'll see something else. Goldfield attracts kind of the artist mindset, and there's actually what, what's named the International Car Forest of the Last Church. There are trucks and buses and cars planted in the desert upright, and they're painted. Nevada's version of Cadillac Ranch is located about four and a half hours from Reno along US 95. You can walk in, you can really climb on them if you feel so inclined, and that's so iconic in Nevada, having art out in the desert that invites you to interact with it and not just look at it. You really have to do some studying to even understand what it was all about. The car forest was put together by artists Chad Sorg and Mark Rippey with the idea of letting artists paint on cars instead of canvases. And as you can see, plenty have decided to do so, making it a popular roadside attraction. Well, given the fact that the International Car Forest of the Last Church is located in a town with under 300 residents, you'd think it'd be pretty easy to find. And yet, when you drive through, it's surprisingly easy to miss. When you're heading south on US 95, it's located on the left-hand side once you reach the end of the small town, and you'll have to take a dirt road to get there. Something people continue to do. The guy who put it up, he decided that one day he was just gonna, he and another guy put up a bunch of cars and put art on them, and it's just been a sensation. Jerry Fouts is a tour guide in the town of Goldfield and says it continues to be a popular addition to her tour. It brings people from all over the world to see the car forest. Perhaps that's why International is in its name. And this is a continuation of our last episode of Silver State Sites, which was on the history of the town of Goldfield. You can watch that on colotv.com. Denise? Thank you, Ben.